Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be covering the topic of claiming your ECT POW tokens from the ECT MC plug and player miner. So the miner has been running for just over a week and as you can see from the top right hand corner our ECT POW balance is just over 125 tokens. So once you've mined enough ECT POW and hit that minimum 100 balance up here, this box here will turn yellow where you can click on claim ECT POW. So let's go ahead and do that right now. You'll get a pop-up box in here where it'll ask you to enter your Ethereum Classic address, enter your username and your email address, and then you click on OK. Let's go and do that right now. So I've gone ahead and entered the details in this little pop-up box. So on the top line here, you want to enter the wallet address where your ECT POW token is kept. The second line is going to be the username that you signed up with to this project. And the third line is going to be the email address that you use to purchase the license or the node. Once you've entered those details, go ahead and click on OK at the bottom. So once you get that, you'll get an information pop-up box here just saying ECT POW payments will be processed within 24 hours. And then you can go ahead and click on OK. Now usually the payments from what I've heard usually take between 24 and 48 hours during weekdays. It'll probably be longer on weekends. And then you just get a processing bar here. As you can see, it's going up in percentage. And as you can see, it now says claim successful and your balance would have reset back to zero and it carries on the cycle. So now that's done, all we've got to do is sit back and just wait for the balance to hit our wallet. Three days later. So here we are about two and a half days later and the balance is now updated in my wallet. Now I had about 50 ECT POW already in there, so it's just added the new balance on top of it. That's why the figure is slightly different from what we withdrew. So once you've got the balance in there and it's cleared, you've got a couple of options. You could just leave it in there as ECT POW tokens and just watch it grow and shrink as the crypto market does. You can also swap it from ECT POW to ECT using a bridge called Hebe Swap. And this is what it looks like. So you can actually swap your ECT POW balance for ECT. So currently right now you can swap from one ECT POW token to this much in ECT. So once you've converted it to ECT, you can just leave it in there and hold it. Or the other option is you could send that to another exchange and convert it to stable coins, cash out or another cryptocurrency. And the final option I was going to mention was if you've got a large enough balance in ECT POW, you could purchase a digital license for the ETCMC project and start up another miner. So there you go, savages. I hope that explains the claims process and the options you've got once the balance hits your wallet. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.